Uh, what I have here is a tank object. You've seen renders of this tank before. The top of the tank's a little different. This is an earlier file. But we'll use this as our little test file. I've given you this file in the week two uh, directory for the class, so you can open it as well. And this one is called the Christians Tank 7 underscore uh, complete. And remember, my name's Christian. That's not a... Uh, <laughs> That's not a knock on anything. So, um, what I've got here is a tank made up of many different pieces. It is not a single shell tank like the Panzer tank that you just saw in the last tutorial. This one has lots of little parts and pieces that are kind of glued together. So, again, not exactly what we would import into a game, but again, we're just covering the modeling part, so... The Panzer that we just covered was a single shell piece. This one is a multiple shell piece. And even the Panzer actually had a few little parts and pieces stuck on it, but it would work for a game. Okay, so this guy, uh, what we're going to do is kind of go through this as if we were working on this in parts and pieces like many of you have been working on. Um, I'm going to open this one which is the same tank, but it's had some pieces removed. Now, I'm going to assume that I did those pieces in another file, so that, let's say I built just the gun or the uh, grill all by itself in another file, and now I want to merge it over to my main scene, which is how we would usually work. We do that by going to File, Merge, and then we'll go Find our um, our parts. I'm going to start with the grill. So file merge, go find the max file that you want to merge, and then we hit open. And now this will have probably a lot of parts and pieces in it. Because when I made this particular file, I had other things in the scene, like lights or other meshes. This could even come from a completely different tank file. And what I'm going to do is then grab the piece that I want, in this case it's called box 01, which isn't very helpful, but that's my grill. Actually, I think that one is. Let's see. And I'm going to hit OK. I think it's plain is actually what my grill is. And it's now going to ask me a couple questions. It says a material name assigned to a merging material is a duplicated material in the scene, which is what we want. So we want to use the scene material in this case. So you're just figuring out which material do you want applied to the object that's coming in. The one that you put on it, or is there a new one in the scene that you want assigned? And I'm just going to say use scene material. And it's parented to this material. So I'm going to say I want it parented or I could say, no, I don't. I'm going to say no to all in this case. And there's my grill that I made in a different scene. And you can see it's right there. It fits onto the front of the tank. Let me scoot that over so you can see it a little bit better. That's the grill right there. I'm now going to um, scoot this guy over to the front of the tank and just lower it into place. There we go. That looks like it's pretty good. And then I'm go I can then link this piece to the tank so that it's stuck onto the tank. I'm going to go back and do the same thing with the gun mounts. And in this case, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of different pieces to the gun mount. So I'm going to say OK to all. I'm going to merge. Now this one, I need to uh, change the name because it has the same name as something already in the scene. So I'm going to underscore B and then say merge. And in this case, I need to figure out again what I want to use. I want to use the scene materials because it's this same materials, what's on the ones that I'm merging. That's fine, that's fine. Now, 
this one, because I've got a big structure that's coming into my scene, it's going to be a little gun mount, I'm going to say yes to all because I want it to go right where I originally had planned it to go. And you can see it's, it's right there. Now, I'm going to deselect that big box, which I don't need, that came in with the scene. I'm just going to drag... So I held down shift, and I'm left-clicking as I drag this over to place it on top of the other gun mount. So it's going to be a copy. And now I could, I believe, grab this, and we'll just rotate the gun around. They're all parented because when it merged, it asked me, did I want to keep the parenting intact? And I said yes. So they're actually still parented, and now I have these two little guys. Now, I'm going to um, save this scene for a second. I'm going to call it two. I'm just going to save this. And we're going to hop over to one of these scenes. I'm going to open... And we're going to open this missile scene for a second. Okay, I'm going to select this missile. Now, let's do this. I'm going to select everything in the scene and delete it except for that missile. There we go. Okay, so everything's been deleted in there except for that missile. You can see I have that, it's called Oil Tank 02, because I made it using an oil tank primitive. But that's my missile object. Now, what if when we made this, it was a completely different scale? And you can see, if I scale this way down and zoom in, you can't tell what scale that is. And I don't necessarily have to make them all to the same scale right now. I'm going to save this. So the one that you're going to get that's called Missile will be um, the wrong scale. So I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to go back and open my... Um, you would open the before merged one. I'm going to open the one that I just saved. There it is, because it's got the pieces that I already put on it. And now I'm going to merge in that Missile piece. And you'll see that oh, there were some Omni lights in that scene, but that's okay. I just want the object. And we're going to use the scene material. And now it's come in, but it's way too small. If I go to wireframe here, you'll see it's way down there. If I zoom in, see the oil tank way down there. It's like a little flea. It's right there. There it is. But it's way too small. That's not very intimidating for our tank. So I need to scale it up, and I just do that by using scale and scale it up. Now this won't work if you're parenting objects together and bringing them in. If you're doing that, then you might want to build things to scale, and you can use the, the uh, grid settings to do that, or you can build them in your regular scene, or you can build them separate, and you can parent them all together. So there's my little missile piece. If I go back to my smooth highlight mode here, we'll rotate around. You can see that that missile is in place. I would just mirror that missile onto the other side, connect it to the tank, link it to the tank, I should say. We could just link it right to the tank. Oops, keep missing. There we go. Link it to the tank and we'd be all set. So that's how you merge things from other scenes. Don't be afraid to bring in objects from other scenes that you've made and add them to your vehicle if you think that they'll work. So you just kind of have to manage the coming and going of those objects. One other thing you can do that we didn't cover is if you select an object, like in this case I have just the um, body, you can say save selected and it will save just the body of the tank. So if you need to go the other way, 
and get objects out of your scene so that they're in their own separate scene, that's how you can do it.